All right, the filament's ready to be changed. So I'm gonna pause the printer. So check this out. So it goes to a home state. And then I'm gonna do change filament. The filament is already cut, so I'll do next. Uh, it's got to heat the extruder nozzle back up. Okay, you can see the filament flowing. So now, in the meantime, I brought this filament through the tube. I'm going to bring it into through here and down into there, and we'll grab a hold of it eventually. There, grab a hold of it. Make sure it's still feeding. I need to hit the continue button. There, it's still feeding. So I will hit done. Pull this filament out of here, get it all the way. It's trying to detect the spool, but I'm using a third-party spool, so I'll have to choose. And it takes a while. There we go. So we are using PLA. Okay, it's really hard to tap the button <laughs> and film at the same time. So then you hit save. And then we gotta close the doors because it doesn't like starting when the doors are closed. And hit continue. So now it's gonna go back, the home, another home position, heat up, and then it'll resume printing. Uh, there's some junk I need to clean off that head. There, you didn't see that shouldn't be touching the hot end with your fingers. So, okay, looks like it's almost there. Here we go. It's gonna continue where it left off. That is super slick. I really like that feature. So you can see where I changed filament. There's that ridge and it's hard to see in the camera, but the filament on top is just a little bit different color than the filament on the bottom. And when you change filament mid-print like that, that's something that you're going to run into.